Multi-board support in Proteus provides a structured way to design products with more than one rigid PCB. We start in a normal way through the new project wizard. This creates one schematic and one PCB board. Next, in the layout module, create a new board from the file menu. Importantly, this allows us to have a different layer stack and drill set than the first board. Repeat as necessary until you have the right number of boards for your product design. You'll see the board switch combo appear at the top of the layout module. This is a global switch which allows us to select the current board for development. It's best to rename the boards in your design explorer which shows a global view of the system. You can rename the schematic sheet at the same time and also use the context menu to navigate. After the system has been set up, design is pretty much the same as for a single board project. On the schematic, you first choose the board for design via the global selector, and then select your sheet from the design menu. If you want to, you can add a board identifier to the header block for clarity. For navigation, the design menu lists the sheets in the current board, whereas the Go To command allows you to directly switch to a sheet on any board. Note that the annotation is by default local to the board and not the project. You can change this via the command on the Edit Sheet Properties dialog on a board. On the layout side, each board is treated individually with its own design rules, net classes and layer stack up. So you start by selecting the board you want to work on and then continue exactly as though you are working on a single board project. Outboard systems such as the Bill of Materials and Gerber output are board aware. So to create project output, you must switch boards and generate the output from each one. 